Well, the big challenges at the moment are um, availability of skilled labour for the workforce. Um, we have obviously a lot of issues surrounding Brexit at the moment. There's a lot of customer uncertainty. Uh, we're quite lucky that at the moment we haven't lost any customers because of Brexit uncertainty, but I know other companies in the UK have, so that's a concern. Um, and we've had companies asking us to move orders forward um, in case there is some uh, levies of duty that they weren't anticipating. So that's, uh, uh, that's one of the big challenges at the moment. Um, and the other one really is just keeping up with the, the movement in the market. You know, years ago we were very, very strong in oil and gas and uh, more recently that's with the collapse of the oil price that market disintegrated and uh, left us with a big hole in our order book. But then gradually as the price stayed low there's been a lot more movement in uh, uh, ferries because the price of oil is low and ferry companies have a lot more money to spend. Um, and also globally there's a lot of issues with um, uh, border security so we're getting more orders now for patrol boats uh, and also there's a big uh, rise in wind farm vessels so um, at the moment ferries, wind farm vessels and patrol boats are, are the strongest market for us. I think for, for our part of the market it's, it's not that cyclical really. It's, um, I mean, as I said previously, the, the price of uh, oil has been a significant factor in, in moving the market for us. And uh, the technology issue is, um, is, is not so great because what we manufacture is basically hardware. Um, and so it's not like, um, I don't know, radars and uh, control systems and, and all the movement to kind of uh, um, drive by wire. That, that really doesn't affect us too much at all. So what we're looking at is uh, processes. Um, so we are obviously doing uh, 3D printing and, and changing our processes. There's a lot of movement towards higher accuracy, um, which, is a, which is a challenge for us. So um, with the ability to machine sun castings and cast directly from that, so every casting is identical, is uh, one of the things that people are looking for these days they're looking for much higher tolerances and for us to keep ahead of the um, our competitors the cheaper competitors in, in Asia you know we need to be uh, producing technologically more advanced and and uh, tighter tolerance products so that's where our challenge really is is keeping ahead of the market the one thing I change in the shipping industry would probably be planning I've, I've, we find that uh, it's it's not a great industry for advanced planning so Despite the fact that the lead time for an engine might be six months or longer, um, and once you define the engine and the gearbox and ordered that, then uh, there's no reason why you couldn't order propellers and stern gear. But very often, companies leave it till the last you know, two or three months to finalize the order, which is about our lead time. So we're very, very often squeezed. And it would just be great if people would plan a little bit further in advance, and also involve us more earlier, because. We've, because it's a relatively short time, usually the, the design is finalised by the time we're involved and uh, we have a lot of the experience and skills in the design side and we could uh, design out costs and reduce lead times, uh, maybe reduce weight. So there's a lot more we can contribute to the design side um, apart from just manufacturing and supplying. But in order to do that, we need to be involved at an early stage. So both from the shipyard point of view in terms of ordering product but also from the naval architect's point of view of doing the design, uh, it's much, it all works a lot better if we're involved at an early stage. Well, um, in terms of Africa being a growth opportunity, I think it is, um, and we are working um, in that region. Um, there's some opportunities coming up in, in Egypt that we're working on, and projects uh, in West Africa which have been serviced through uh, boats being built in South Africa. Um, so we have, a, we have a good market there, uh, but the biggest growth that we're experiencing is in Asia. Um, the, the markets uh, around um, Thailand and Vietnam, Indonesia, particularly for uh, patrol boats, is, is very strong and it's an area we're heavily focused on at the moment and looking uh, to consolidate our position in.